Welcome back to Got Fuels Motor Car Garage. This is Brian, and as we discussed, this is this is the Foos Revell Foos Cadillac, and um, we are going to learn something together. What we're going to try to do. Uh, what I have here mixed up already is a little bit of. Createx white metallic fine and coarse 4030 is the fine 4031 is the coarse uh, no uh, I'm sorry that's 4330 is the fine 4331 is the coarse all I have is reduced maybe 15% or so with 4011, I want this relatively thin. So, is what I am going to attempt to do, and you're going to watch me make a mistake so we can learn together. I have a paper plate here or foam plate wrapped with uh, saran wrap, uh, and I am going to attempt to do marbleized or um, marble effect or there's several different names it goes by cracked um, and I'm going to attempt to do it with two different candies one on the top which is going to be candy 2-0 tequila yellow 4652 and just the very bottom edge is going to be brandy wine uh, 4665 and my plan is to I I got a piece of styrene to the back of the, the the hood so I can get it out because I'm going to do that first before I move it around a whole lot but just below this panel the body line here is where I'm going to go in with the darker shade just below it it's going to be a solid dark shade right on the bottom I don't know maybe maybe half inch or so of the body and the rest of it will hopefully kind of kind of blend in or that's all something on there let me see what's on the body and what's something wet on it <clears throat> the normal way of doing this on a one-to-one -one car with automotive paint is they lay down the silver and um, and then hit it with the black and then come in while the black is wet hit it with a big piece of plastic and pull it off the side and then they do the top and then they do the other side um, Createx recommends the opposite and to actually dab your they recommend do the black and then dab your silver or pearl or whatever you wanted to dab it with. Uh, I'm going with a metal flake. I, I like to be different. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with being different. But I'm going to do the hood first so I can uh, make sure and take it off because I want, I want it to blend in with the hood to the fenders as well as I can. And then uh, as soon as I get done with the hood, I'll take it off and set it aside and finish up the rest of the body. The grill area is going to be hard. I might have to uh, fake something with a toothpick or something. We'll, we'll see how that works when I get there. So I got another piece of saran wrap here just sort of balled up. Sort of trying to use it for a template. Something kind of flat I want to try to get that uh, will give me the cracking effect. But it's got to be crunched up at the same time. So I'm going to pour this out here. I don't want much. And I'm going to use my popsicle stick to get it spread out as thin as I can. I don't want it thick. Let's 
So we're just going to do some dabs. That's going to be way too much. Ah, already. Look at me already. this hood off of here. Probably going to have to do the very front of it a little bit. Yeah, just get the front of it. Just a couple dabs. Set that to the side. And now I can finish up the rest of it. See where I'm going with it. Kind of heavy right there.
Now we got to get right around the front, around the headlights, and the bottom. See if we can make something work here. Something flat. get a toothpick for that little section and just make something up with a toothpick kind of roll it across or something maybe I need to get just a little bit more up on the under that right headlight a little This side's got a little bit more to it, I believe. And we go with just a couple more dabs on this side. Nothing heavy, very light. again take a look yeah that's say all right looks pretty even well we're picking it up all right so set this back over here and I'm gonna have to put the hood in it to do my first stripes across the top too let me get, I see one spot that's a little light right there in that corner. Okay. So let me get the candies mixed up. Let me get the camera set up at the paint booth and get that all set up. And we will be back in just one second. All right, we got everything set up. I hope uh, I hope this angle will be good enough. <clears throat> I don't know if I can get any closer. Let's see. That's that's as close as I can get. All right, what I have here, I got my Pache Talon TC3. I got the .63 needle nozzle in it with the fan attachment because my hood is in here I 
can't tip the body yet so I want to come as straight down on it as I can and as even as I can uh, the candies are real touchy as far as keeping them nice and even and smooth um, you can tiger stripe and if you tiger stripe it's over I have not done candies uh, with the 4050 Createx 4050 glosses yet you get the 4050 gloss 4051 and 4052 um, so this is going to be a learning experience with this candy and that clear gloss and the Pache Talon. I got. Uh, I wanted the fan nozzle. I've used the Pache uh, to do some uh, other body painting, but I, I with the fan attachment. But I have not used it to do the candy. So we're going to try to give nice even passes and um, see how it turns out. Remember, I'm, I'm going to blend it in the bottom the bottom probably halfway up is going to be solid brandy wine and then I'll spray a mist and just let it mist up the side a little bit um, oh, let me turn my air pressure down I want to do this at 20 psi instead of 30 because it'll blow a lot of paint you'll have to excuse me when the compressor kicks on it will be loud. I want y'all to see the process here. So I'm about 20 PSI. And as soon as I get the top coat on, I need to get my hood off. Carefully. Carefully is the key word. So. Here we go. I got to put a little bit right on the front of this hood. I don't think I'm going to go two coats with that. I'll go ahead and hit just a light coat down there on the very bottom. Wow. Wow. Hope y'all can see that really well. I got a little light area right there on the hit.
Alright, so let me get the airbrush cleaned out, get the color swapped around, and we'll be right back. Alright, I did go ahead and hit that with just another light coat of the tequila yellow. So now my goal is the very bottom, I want it about halfway down that, that, that body line. I want it solid red, a solid brandy wine. And then I'm going to blend it, hopefully try to fan it in to give it a blend. Um, I've got to get just a little light on this to kind of to, to bring it all together too. So, let's see what happens. It's actually blending in quite well, just like that. Not having, I thought I was going to have to angle it really well. I'm just drying it right now. Just drying it. I'm going to have to hit one more coat on the other side. bottom of the grill and uh, right up underneath the headlight just a little bit here. I'd say that's it guys. set up and dry a little bit I'm um, gonna get some uh, I'll get the decals on it I'm probably gonna hit it with a little bit of the 5604 where I'm gonna put decals on it 
and um, we'll get that done and uh, we'll uh, come back and clear cut it. All right, we're back. Decals are all set. I've misted the room down. I've mixed up my 2K clear. This is just some really super cheap automotive 2K clear. When I went to the paint supply store, I told them I wanted the cheapest thing they had. This is what I use, classic. And uh, we'll get to it. We've mixed it four, four parts clear. One part hardener, one part reducer. I'll be using my Iwata HP CR. Oh, I'm sorry, my Iwata Revolution CR. It's a .5 needle nozzle. I'll be spraying at 20 PSI. I'm gonna hit my couple small parts first. mask on, a respirator, I just got the engine, the oil pan, and um, I hit the valve cover and the breather, I'm just going to hit those with one coat. Uh, just to seal in the paint and the um, decals on the valve cover and the breather. So. Nope, I need And I was spraying at 20 PSI.
coat one. I don't do a tack coat. They don't do tack coats when they paint automobiles. I'm going to give that five minutes and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. It's been five minutes. Like I said, uh, I do not do a tack coat. When they paint one-to-one -one cars, they don't do a tack coat. They, they paint it. So that's what I do. So here we go, coat number two. So, coat number two, be back in five minutes. All right, it's five more minutes. Going in for coat number three and the final coat. Party.
There we go. I'm going to get the camera set back overhead. Let y'all have one final look at it. And I'm going to get it covered up. Alright. Hopefully, uh, this will pick up really well. See, it's got the fade at the bottom. I'm just, uh, I'm so tickled with this. And how it turned out. I could not be happier. Grab the hood. Or from my European friends, the bonnet. And, uh, got a few spots on the hood I can see. It's hard to see, really, if there's anything in it. But, uh, yeah, um, very, very, very happy. Very happy. Alrighty. Thank you all for watching. Got Fuels Motor Car Garage. And I've um, got a video coming up on the, doing some polishing on the next one. So, we'll see you all then. Uh, it's the next day here in the garage. I'm fixing to edit this video. And uh, I just wanted to say something real quick. I had uh, <clears throat> want, want to let the, the new guys that, that are just getting into this, if somebody's searching on painting model cars and or marbleizing like this or something, look, don't be afraid. Uh, I'm just a truck driver. I'm nobody special. Uh, if, I, if I can do this, you can do it. This, this was a lot easier than I expected it to be. And um, don't be afraid. You know, keep your purple pond next to you. This one took a bath. Uh, we all make mistakes. Uh, just, just do it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Just do it. There's other ways to achieve this. You don't have to buy Createx like I use. Um, the, the, I know um, Tamiya makes colors they call clear. Uh, and uh, then they have their clear coats and they're phenomenal. Uh, Pappy over at West Georgia Rods, West Georgia Customs, Rods and Customs, just, just done a, a CUDA build in which he used rattle cans and man. It, it, it that that build turned out fabulous um and also i want to say um i think i think i'll give you all a little face time for this one i want to say this uh there there's a couple people i subscribe to uh out here in the model community that um have recently was diagnosed with covid-19 uh, one of them being Pappy, and uh, just want you to know that uh, we're praying for you. Um, we know the last video you done, he you sounded like he was doing a whole lot better. He's about out of the woods, so uh, you know, good luck. We're, we're still praying for you. Another one I haven't heard, haven't seen a video from him in a, in a week. Uh, Red thirteen, your wife, his wife, uh, went into the hospital about a week ago. We ain't heard nothing from him since. At least uh, I, I haven't. Um, praying for you and your wife and. Uh, I uh, hope y'all come through this all right and uh, just let you know there's a lot of us out here in the model building community that are, are thinking about you and uh, praying for you and uh, hope you get hope y'all get better soon so with that being said a hey, Merry Christmas to everybody I don't know if I'll get another video up after this one and uh, hope y'all enjoy your holidays and remember the reason for the season thank y'all for watching got fuels model car garage and we will see you in the next video if you like what you saw, please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you.